I came to Malta for four days to rest here with family before heading back to Australia after World Youth Day. And I spent most of my time sick in bed. So here's the last push of energy to get out and do something. God has created us with a ridiculous potential to change the lives and the hearts of others. Jeremiah 29 11 says that God has a plan to prosper us, to give us an awesome future. And John 10 10 says that God has come to give us life and to give it to the full. But the reality is that many of us will not reach this potential that God has given us. And the biggest thief of this God-given potential very often is fear. We all experience fear in our lives. Some fears we are aware of and other fears we might not even realize we have. So what is fear? First of all, fear is an unpleasant feeling caused by the perception or the belief that something or someone is dangerous and going to cause us harm or pain. Secondly, fear is an instrument that the devil uses to hold us down, to make us miserable and even destroy us. Fear begins with a thought and then it starts to create emotions that take control of us. These emotions might move us to make foolish actions or even prevent us from doing something that would be good for us. Fear is a master tool used by the evil one to keep people out of God's will. Fear is essentially the opposite of faith. When we choose to live by faith and not by fear, then and only then can we live a prosperous, satisfying life, a life of peace and strength in Christ. Here are three things to do to overcome your fear. Number one, find a solid and stable ground that does not change when the world around us moves on. People move on, the world changes, circumstances change, people around us die, and we need something solid to stand on when we feel shaken, when we feel fearful. For me, my solid ground is my relationship with God. When I am fearful, when I am shaken, I stand upon my relationship with God. I know that God is with me and God is near me no matter what I go through. That the love behind me and beneath me is greater than the task that lies ahead. thing is don't let failure deter you. We all fail and we all mess up. The thing is to get back up again stronger and harder than we were before. The very things that we fail in sometimes become our strength. The third thing is do it scared. We all experience fear, but you can't wait for fear to disappear before you step forward. When you feel scared to do something, step forward and do it scared. Eventually, fear will subside. Do not let fear stop you from reaching your God-given potential.